Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 8 of this free noteful course. In this episode, we'll be going through everything you need to know about shapes in Noteful. You can add simple fixed shapes in the app. To do that, go to the plus icon, then shape. And you can choose a shape you like from the available options. This method has a limited number of shapes that you can add, which is why it is better to use the second method, which lets you draw the shapes you want to add. To activate freehand drawing for your shapes, go to the pen tool, then the three bar icon at the bottom of this pop up window. Turn on draw and hold, then set the time for the delay. We recommend setting this between 0.7 to 1 second. This determines how long you have to long press to transform your shapes when you draw them. For your freehand drawings, you can use either the pen tool or the highlighter tool. You simply have to draw the shape and keep your Apple Pencil pressed against the screen, which is long pressing, until the shape transforms. With this method, you can draw any shape you like. Regular. Or irregular shapes. And you can even draw curves. You can still modify these shapes after you've drawn them. Simply move the marked points on the shape until you have the desired shape you want. Both shape types have similar styling options. To style a shape, simply tap on it, go to style, and you can start modifying it. This style option looks similar to the text boxes we did in episode 7. So your shape has five different styles. You can determine your shape color. Shapes in Noteful use the same color for the border and the fill. You can also adjust the border thickness, but the options are limited. You only have three thickness options. When you need a thicker border for your shapes, it's better to use a thicker pen tool. So you simply go to your pen tool, adjust your pen tool to a thicker size and use that to draw your shape. You also have the option to remove the border of your shape. Noteful also lets you adjust the opacity of your shape from a scale of 0 to 100%. To resize your shapes, tap on the shape to bring up the pop-up menu and then go to resize. The corner points on the shape let you resize your shape. While the whiskers lets you rotate the shape. There are several ways to move your shapes on the page. Using the lasso tool is the easiest. You just select the shape and move it. We will go through the lasso tool later on in this course. You can also tap the shape and touch its border to move it. For filled shapes, it's easier because you can also touch the fill inside the shape. The last way to move your shapes, tap the shape, go to resize, and touch anywhere in the resize box. 
let us know which way you find easiest to move shapes in Noteful. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.